Mr. Arpino would, would many times start with the music. He just loved the music, and, and the music would make him see something or feel something, and he'd have, a, he'd have kind of an idea or a seed. And he would come in with sort of an idea of movement, depending on what ballet it was. I mean, Light Rain, obviously, is very different from something like Reflections or, you know, something very classical. He would say, I see this, and, and try this, 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 and this, and this, and then, then you sort of do it. But because he would work very quickly, he'd say, go forward, backwards, and turn it, and, and, and then drop, and then thus. And, um, and then you couldn't remember all of that stuff, so you'd sort of have to improv a little bit. And then, um, then in the improv process, he'd say, well, what if you pull your leg more this way? And what if you go slower? Because he, he was a great coach for movement and could see things that, that his eye was meticulous, meticulous, like quality of movement. But Mr. Joffrey was usually more methodical. He would come in with a totally preconceived of what he wanted to do. He had it all laid out. He had a storyline. He had, I'm going to do three girls and I'm going to do a solo, and then I've got a boy. He, he knew kind of what he wanted already, and he probably had it with the music and with everything. He had a very, it was a very, it, I mean, while it was a, a collaborative process, he had a very strong idea of what he wanted. And Arpino was a little bit more, I mean, he, would, he could say this is the solo and this is the pas de deux, perhaps, and I see a group here, but it was more, it was a much more movement-oriented process he did have, he had some visual, he had like visuals. Like in, in Italian Suite, there was one, there's one section, and I'm just, I'm talking for myself because I was there, but, um, but where I would, I would run in and, and go like this and fall to the floor. And he said, he saw that. He said, I see, I see, I see you running in and just dropping. Can you do that? And I, like, I had no idea what he was talking about. Like, what do you mean? Like, just run in and drop. And so we just played with the idea of running and dropping. And it, it became part of the ballet. But, it, but he had a, an image more than steps to create the image. And it was a process of finding what that was.